everybody Ann here. So this is part two of the visit from Donna B and her lovely daughters. And I am going to show you the rest of the gifts they brought down. Oh my gosh, they are just so wonderful. You guys are going to love them. So you know what time it is? <laughs> This first box I actually don't have to cut into, um, but I'm going to show you some of the other stuff. All that other stuff, the zucchini bread, um, the pistachio cake. Oh my gosh, that stuff is so good. Um, the cups and whatnot, I already showed you that. So I'm going to go through the rest of these and show you what she gave me. Um, I think I already showed you this, but Dawn Dish uh, Liquid. Um, a little book that I can write stuff down in, which is great. Uh, a whole bunch of these gloves. I'm gonna count them all. I don't know how many there are, but I've gone ahead and opened up one of them. And her daughter, Christina, got this. And I guess she gets them from work or something. But these gloves are great. Look, look at that. Those are gorgeous. Beautiful. Here, let me put them both on. Looks so cool and they fit perfect. They've got this rubbery stuff on them, just like I like them. Um, so let me see how many of those there are. This is one pair. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. I think seven, seven, seven. Yep, I think that's it. These are the best gloves ever. And you know what? I use them every single day all day long so thank you thank you christina i appreciate that very much let me put these over here um okay this next one it's gonna blow your mind um this is this is a bucket lid opener thingy <laughs> um you seen me struggle trying to get those lids off the buckets uh i don't know if you have seen me or not but i'll just know that i have because they fit really tight and I actually had to get like a screwdriver or something up underneath. This, you just hook it on and the lid comes right off. Very thoughtful. It's so funny because I was wanting to get something like this. Um, these are uh, like the little clippy things that Doreen sent me that I've already used all over the chicken coop area and garden stuff. Um, little clippy things because I wanted to put a little clip at the bottom of those curtains that are over there that are in, that are in front of the uh, shelving unit to keep the bottom of them, you know, like that way so that it doesn't come off anyhow. So those are going to be perfect. Um, if I'm out in the woods so I don't get shot, <laughs> a, an emergency vest, great. Um, some little uh, clippy things. Maybe I can cut my bangs with them. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, she got me a box of spaghetti, tangy Italian with some tomato paste with it so I can make myself some spaghetti. And it's she says, uh, tomato paste and Aldi 50 cents, spaghetti dinner dollar general, one dollar, one dollar and 50 cent meal. This is my kind of meal, absolutely. Okay, um, and she got just some paper, like for the worm bin, uh, or kindling, or whatever. Um, very good. She got me another movie, Secondhand Lions. Look at this. Who's that actor in there? Who is that? Haley Joel. Oh, for a minute I thought it was Ryan Reynolds. I love Ryan Reynolds. My brother kind of looked like Ryan Reynolds a little bit. Um, Summer's Bee. Oh, that's going to be a good movie. And she got me several books. Um, this one is The Cure Up and Die. Would you rather have a makeover or a do-over? I don't know if this is a novel, but it looks interesting. Yeah, many of you may not know what this is. Um, back in the olden days. I mean, they still have them in beauty shops, but we all used to dry our hair like that. Crazy, huh? Um, another book. Oh, these are like two books. Oh, look at this first one. Two puppies. And this one too. Two books in here. Two more books in here. Uh, the 12 Dogs of Christmas, and I can't read that backwards. Mary Alice Monroe Beach, House for Rent. Another book that I can read. Uh, Christmas Light and the Glass Kitchen. 
what else? Uh, 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 uh. Davis, Bun, Miramar Bay, and Peace of Mind. And last but not least, The Story of Us and When the Men Were Gone. I bet you those are going to be great. Great books to read during the winter when I got nothing to do. <laughs> when I've got nothing to do. Oh my goodness. And she put them all in this nice little box that I will just be able to keep them in and store stuff in. So that is going to be perfect. That will fit right up underneath of that bed. Perfect. All right. Let me just put these aside. There's one more box. And I have to ch -ch it. Definitely. Oh, let me put this off to the side. Okay, let me get it up here. Oh, it's heavy. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm so glad you didn't try and ship this because this would have cost a fortune. Okay, let's cut this baby open. I love doing this. Oh my gosh, this was such a great visit. I just wish that that, that footage would have turned out with us all three sitting on the bed with the dogs. It was hilarious. It was sweet. I'm so sorry, Donna and Christina and Pamela. Pamela, her daughter Pamela, oh my gosh. She drove all the way here straight through the night. It was like 12 hours, okay? One woman, she she's like a machine or something. She drove the whole way, didn't stop. Well, I don't know if they probably stopped to get out and party or something like that, but um, they started driving last night. I don't know what time it was, but they, they have been driving since last night all the way here. And they only spent a couple of hours here. And poor Pamela, she was so tired. She just went out, took a little nap in, in the car. And I just, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Um, I just hope they get home safely and that they make stops and, and whatnot. But Pamela, thank you so much for doing that and coming and picking up my Judy. Anyhow, let me, let me, I'll get to all that later. Let me see what's in the package. <sighs> I forgot one piece. Okay. Ta da! All right. Let's see what it is. <gasps> I see more snacks. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> There's crossword puzzle books in here too, which I love absolutely. Um, I'm going to set these down because my eye was immediately drawn to this. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are gonna be so good. Crispy wafers, dark chocolate. Oh my gosh, how many are there in here? Whew. A whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of them in there. I don't know how many. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be so good. And she sent me two boxes of them. Oh, girl, you know me. You know me. Oh, and it looks like they've got little, like, salt sprinkles on the top of them. I cannot wait to dig into those. Cannot wait. Cotton balls. Oh, I needed cotton balls because I am completely out of cotton balls. What is this? <gasps> More snacks. What is in here? Oh my gosh. Oh Lord have mercy. Peanut butter fudge. I have not made peanut butter fudge left since I left my apartment. The last year I did it was, um, well, it was like Christmas, not this Christmas, not last Christmas, the Christmas before that. And I have not made uh, peanut butter fudge. I cannot wait to try that. Oh, yum. Oh gosh, there's all kinds of stuff still in here. Alrighty. Two candles which I need, but what I'm probably going to do, I don't know, I might burn these a little bit tonight before I melt them down. I need to make some fire starters. I'm completely out of fire starters, so two candles. These are great. Uh, the mainstays candles burn really, really well. What is this? Oh, mashed potatoes, yes! Uh, more cotton balls, yes! Oh, one more. One more candle. Yay. I'm going to be able to make lots of fire starters. I will probably just take those and, and um, melt them down. Oh, look at this. Gel pens. I'm wondering if these are all different colors. Look. Looks like it. Yes. The ink is different colors. Gel pens. Right on. 
egg cartons. Right on. Okay, but you know what? She actually did bring me a couple more egg cartons. These I'm gonna use for the fire starters. Uh, oh, look, more wick dryer lint. I'm gonna have plenty of fire starters. I may do that tomorrow. And more cotton balls. That is great. Oh my gosh. All of that stuff is so wonderful. I almost forgot to show you this. They brought this big bag of wood that uh, Miss Donna had in her garage. Look at all of that wood. Can, I don't know if you can see down in there very well. Tons of wood. That's dry wood. That's going to burn really, really great. So I wasn't going to start a fire because I'm having some, some issues. It, uh, I need to clean this pipe out and make some adjustments. But look at that pan. That fits underneath of there perfectly. That is so lovely. And... They brought this little bone toy for Papa, so he's going to love playing with that. It was so nice having the lovely Miss Donna B and her two lovely daughters come to visit. I just wish I would have shown them more on camera. I, I'm just terrible. I'm going to have to remember in my excitement to capture other people, <laughs> you know. Um, I can't wait for you guys to come back. So they're going to be taking care of Miss Judy. Um, Papa starts his heart treatment on February 18th and um, the treatment should be about three months so um, I'm going to be without my duty for about well until May um, so I think that they're they're going to try and train her uh, which is something I haven't really worked on and I should have um, so I think that she's I think she's probably going to come back a better dog <laughs> you know honestly I really do believe that um, I think Papa's going to miss her because he was just really playing with her big time today, almost to the point where he was getting too rough with her. So, uh, we had to all tell Papa to kind of calm down. Anyhow. Okay. Thank you so much, Donna and Christina and Pamela. Oh, you guys are just godsends. Really, you're godsends that you were able to come down here, drive all that way, and now you're driving all the way back. I will be saying some prayers that you make it back safely. And Pamela, I hope that you go home and just crash for two days. Um, I think that you have to go to work tomorrow. So this really means a lot. You really extended yourselves to me and it's going to make a huge difference um, in Papa's care. Because it's hard to keep him not playing. He really just wants to play. So, okay, that's it. That's all, you guys. Um, I think I've talked enough. And I don't know. It's just weird in here. It's just quiet, quiet without the, the Judy dog. Um, anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.